Storenzo today announced his quarter three results for 2023 and I have the pleasure of being here with our newly appointed president and CEO Hans Solström. Hans, this is your first quarter as new CEO of Storenzo. What are your reflections on the Q3 results? Well, first, I'm really excited to join as new CEO for Storenzo. I believe we have all the needed components for success. We have strong positions and competencies in businesses growing over the cycle and a solid strategic agenda. However, we are facing difficult market conditions right now. And this is reflected in our weak performance in Q3. Both sales, operational EBIT and margins are down significantly compared to last year. Our packaging and pulp segments are suffering from high supply and price pressure. Meanwhile, high inflation and interest rates are weighting down on our wood products offering. We are being punished by a challenging market and now we need to navigate these headwinds by focusing on our competitiveness, profits and cash flow. So Hans, as newly appointed CEO, what will be your main priorities in order to achieve this turnaround? We know that these market conditions will not go away anytime soon, not in the coming quarter at least. So in my role as CEO, the main priorities right now are performance turnaround and shareholder value creation. We need to act swiftly and focus on profit and cash generation. Key priorities are commercial and operational excellence as well as asset optimization for improved competitiveness. We will also focus on capital release through divestment of non-core assets and improved working capital efficiency. We also need to leverage scale, synergies and best practices across the whole group. That's how we create value for our customers and in turn also to our shareholders. Thank you, Hans. It's been a challenging quarter, but what are some of the main positive takeaways from the quarter? We are a large forest owner and our forest division did well as wood prices remain tight. The wood market remains tight in Finland due to lack of wood supply from Russia. Overall, I'm confident that we can overcome these challenges ahead. To do so, we need to remain focused on reducing costs and improving margins, competitiveness and cash flow. Thank you very much, Hans. Thanks everybody for watching and look forward to catching up again in the next quarter. Goodbye.